the federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act. As of today, a bank or other financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. What is he gonna do after that if all of the truckers have no license and no bank account? They got no tow truck drivers to start pulling trucks. It would take them months to clear this city. Nobody, believe me, have never asked me to move my truck. So first they need to ask me, hey, can you move? And then we'll see what happens. Lincoln J for Rebel News here in Ottawa covering the truckers convoy. Now it is official, Justin Trudeau has invoked the Emergencies Act. The federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act to supplement provincial and territorial capacity to address the blockades and occupations. As of today, a bank or other financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. After being on the ground here for almost three weeks now, covering the truckers' convoy, in the thick of it, talking to protesters, supporters, the truckers themselves, it's just so hard for me to understand why Justin Trudeau would invoke an emergencies act on such a peaceful protest. We're gonna to talk to some truckers here and find out if they feel threatened at all by the announcement and what are their plans if their bank accounts potentially get seized, if their driver's licenses get pulled. Let's find out. How concerned are you, if at all, about Justin Trudeau's announcement yesterday regarding the Emergencies Act? Well, now it's not a concern because it has to go to Parliament again and, uh, you know, we have seven days. And more and more, I think, um, the, the provinces are not with that thing. And um, so it's, it's... I'm not really concerned about it at all. Not, not by the time. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, I feel this is more of a war on cash than anything else. Uh, he's already said he's not going to call in the army. Um, I wonder if the army will even stand up if he does call them in, but I feel this is more of a war on the resources to try and, and choke the truck driver, right? Choke off supplies and everything to the truck drivers. Yeah, sure it is. Yeah. Uh, it's never been done before, you know. The, I think the, the, the least he can do, he come down and talk to the people. It's... Just, it took five minutes, it will only take five minutes to settle everything. Well, so far, you know, I think it's just bluffing. I think this is the biggest poker game I've ever seen in my whole life. Uh, I know a lot of people are not, uh, are not, um, um, sorry. Uh, they don't agree, they don't agree with that. A lot of people inside that building, people in general in the population, some of the PMs of other provinces. So, no, I'm not really worried and you know, we're not here to fight the, the law and the police. We're all good, good people, you know, we respect the laws. And if they come over and they say, you have to move, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But uh, I'm not worried at all. But first of all, it's an emergency since over two years, if we listen at them. And we're still in any emergency. And I don't know, the, the, the thing now, it's just uh, another threat over another threat over another threat. And the main threat is on the other side. We won't actually move out of here. We are not here just for the fun to be here. But the, the thing is the solution are not in our hands right now. No, he's been bluffing for the last two weeks. So I imagine whatever's been coming out of his mouth now is still the same. Yeah, that's concern. So uh, I think the air's still rolling and it's gonna fall. What are your plans if the government does seize your bank account, if they pull your driver's license? Do you have any plans? What are your thoughts on this? Not so far because it's, it's uh, lots of fear mongering stuff from the media, from the mainstream media, you know, and uh, really very dirty games going on. It's not my concern right now and I don't think they have to really do that, going to each and every banking account. Let's see what happens. Honestly, I'm in it for the long haul. They can do what they can throw whatever they want at me. I'm here. I'm here. I'm sitting. I'm not moving. They're going to have to drag my truck out piece by piece. I don't know. Uh, I don't think we, we are at that moment right now. But we, we're starting to plan on backup plan, you know. That's not going to happen. I'm not afraid of that. Because 
they can't do that like this. I mean, they have to have reasons for that. You have to be a criminal. You have to be, you have to be guilty of something. So far, we're not guilty of it. Nobody have ever asked me to leave. I'm here for it since day one. It's been 19 days now, and nobody, believe me, have never asked me to move my truck. So first, they need to ask me, hey, can you move? And then we'll see what happens. But they can't seize my bank account. <laughs> No, I don't believe that. I'm not, aware. I'm not uh, worried about that. Hopefully they take my debt, so that'd be a first start. But uh, uh, but we don't know. We're actually, we're kind of getting ready to move away of the country. And that's sad because it's a place I love. And now my government pushed me away. They got no tow truck drivers to start pulling trucks. It would take them months to clear this city. At this point? I've got no job. What am I gonna lose? What is he gonna do after that if all of the truckers have no license and no bank account? We'll survive, but they won't. You guys need trucks. Again, we're not worried. I don't give a fuck, seriously. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. You can check out all of our coverage at convoyreports.com. Through that same website, you can sign our petition to have the cross-border vax mandate for truckers reverse. And if you can, please consider donating to help cover our travel costs so we can continue to bring you honest, independent journalism. Thanks, guys.